Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors like today's guest, Nancy Hughes of Hughes & Scalise in Birmingham, Alabama. To help business owners enjoy more personal freedom, grow their companies faster, and transition ownership seamlessly when the time comes. Welcome to the show, Nancy. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We're going to start out. I'm just going to have you tell our audience a little bit about your education, your background, your career path up until now. Okay. Um, well, I did things kind of out of order. Mm -hmm. um, I started to work at one of our bank trust departments before I went to law school. Okay. So I was in our trust tax department at one of the local banks for 12 years. Okay. Then I went to law school mm -hmm. and decided, well, gosh, I'll do estate planning because it fit nicely sure. with my past. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to UAB here in Birmingham and I went to Cumberland School of Law here in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Got out of law school in 91. Mm -hmm. And then I went uh, with one firm downtown, left there, went to another firm downtown. And 11 years ago, we started our own little boutique firm. Wow. Houston Scalise. And we do um, estate planning, business mm -hmm. succession planning, charitable planning, tax mm -hmm. planning. Uh, we just specialize in that sort of work. Well, in a way, that trusts, I mean, it basically prepared you to know exactly what you wanted to it do. It absolutely did because we always think in terms of um, uh, playing to the end game, um, mm -hmm. knowing if, if you know what a tax return after somebody dies is going to look like, because that's mm -hmm. what I did, mm -hmm. um, then you kind of know more about how to plan to get there. Right. So, so we did a, a, for me, it was a perfect training ground to do what we do. Okay. You and I just met. How do you think the people that know you the best that would describe you personally? <laughs> I, I was thinking about this, and um, I did a seminar recently, a conference in the, at Duke University. Mm -hmm. And my co-presenter is a lawyer from Chicago, your neck of the woods. Uh -huh. And when the coordinator asked him, how will I know Nancy when she gets here? Uh -huh. Because I haven't met her. Uh -huh. And Lou said she will be the happiest person <laughs> that walks through these doors. Well, that's fabulous. I think that's a great compliment. That's that and is a compliment. I think that is how people think of me. Okay, great. What uh, does Hughes and Scalise, what kind of services do they offer? We do uh, estate planning and business succession planning. Our goal is to work with families mm -hmm. to either help them transition the businesses and the wealth downstream to mm -hmm. the next generation in a tax efficient manner, mm -hmm. or if it turns out mm -hmm. that the next generation is not interested in the business or not suited for it, mm -hmm. to help them transfer the wealth in a tax efficient manner, even if we have an outside buyer of the business. Okay, good. What do you think differentiates you from some of the other estate planning firms in this area? We, I think, not just me, but my law partner, Leah Scalise, and our other lawyers, um, many of us came out of bank trust departments, mm -hmm. and we, therefore, um, have administered trusts, mm -hmm. have handled oh, estates. Yeah. So we had that practical experience before we started mm -hmm. coming up with plans. We know what works. We know what doesn't work. We mm -hmm. kind of know what's going to lead to litigation. Mm -hmm. The goal being always to um, plan in a way that we avoid litigation and we accomplish the client's goals, especially with respect to the family goals. I, I like to um, like to hear from the client what their goals are for the mm -hmm. family, and then I'll fit the puzzle pieces on the tax side together. Okay. Is there any one, you, know, you may have just covered it, but is there any one thing, if you could do the same thing uh, in your practice, uh, is there any one thing you'd like to do more than anything else? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't like fights. Okay. So I don't, well, that's why we like to do good planning. Right. To um, avoid the fights. Mm -hmm. um, I do like counseling the families, becoming their trusted advisor, um, mm -hmm. helping, helping families to transition from the older generation to the next generation. We do a lot of family family meetings mm -hmm. where we'll bring the sometimes two, sometimes three generations in mm -hmm. to help steward the, the wealth along, to help bring that next generation along. And I think that's fun. Okay. There's a very common term today about, uh, you hear this in marketing companies all the time, finding your why or what's your why in life. Right. Uh, if we were to ask you what your why is as far as doing the estate planning, why did you pick this path? Um, I like all parts of it. I love the nerdy tax part, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I like the family part too. 
and I like that we touch all areas of law. You know, if, if you come to me for your estate plan, mm -hmm. um, I'm not just doing your corporate work. Right. I'm, I'm planning for you and your family, and I might have to help you with a real estate piece, and I might help, and you know, you might call me and say, I have a child who's in trouble. Mm -hmm. And even if I don't do that work, I know somebody that does that work. Or you might call me, I've gotten calls from clients at home on the weekend about, you know, my daughter is in a domestic abuse situation. What should we do? So I like that we are doing the hard technical work, but with these families to become not part of their family, but really, mm -hmm. um, what was the name of the guy in The Godfather? The cons I don't yeah, know I know you <laughs> yeah, I know you. I don't know what you're saying. You but, you know, that person that really works with the family as a whole to do the technical pieces, but also mm -hmm. to help accomplish the family goals. Okay. I'm still, my brain's like trying to think of that same thing. <laughs> At two in the morning, I'll come up with Yeah, that. right. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Business owners watch our show for one of uh, three or four reasons. Either want to take a little more time off, they want to grow their company faster, they want to transition ownership to a third party or, you know, to an insider, or they try, they're trying to find a way to redefine their purpose after they leave their company. Sometimes they even drag their feet leaving because they don't know what their purpose is going to be or how it's going to play out versus what it was before. If you could give business owners one tip in any of those four areas, what do you think it would be? Oh, gosh, well, I think... Um for the entrepreneur, the, the business owner, um, they are really type A people. Mm -hmm. um, they need a job. Mm -hmm. So when they sell, mm -hmm. and I have a couple of clients who have sold multiple businesses. Mm -hmm. They create a business, they sell it. They create another business and they sell it. Mm -hmm. I, I think that person, that driven type A person, mm -hmm. has to listen to themselves that they're not going to be happy gardening mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. um, you know, just uh, playing cards, that they really need something else to fill up their time. And I think those type, of, as long as they know that going in, mm -hmm. that it's not the end of their professional life. It could be the beginning of the next professional life. Right. I've read that the healthiest people mm -hmm. are people that have two or three or four different careers. Right. And gosh, if you had two or three or four businesses, wouldn't that be a, a mm -hmm. stimulating way to spend your time? Right. True. Doing what you like, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Great interview. Thank you. That was Nancy Hughes. She's with Hughes and Scalise Law Firm here in Birmingham, Alabama. For more information about Nancy and her firm, please check out the show notes for this episode on our website.